Change the head gasket on a John Deere LA 110 automatic. The Briggs and Stratton 19 and a half horse engine in it. This is the engine block here. The piston head gasket goes around right here. And that's that's the head right here. It shows the the two valves in the middle where the piston goes and the gasket was leaking causing oil to seep through here into the cylinder which was blowing it out of the exhaust but it was causing too much crank pressure so it was making it come out of the back of this little screen right here this little cop brass colored string in front of my fingernail oil was blowing out of that and running all down through here. I've mostly cleaned that up, but that was the issue. So, the other day, I changed this coil right here, the ignition coil, and this was, this was all rusty here, which causes, how do you get your spark from your engine? So I had to clean this off too. But then I changed the, fuel pump right here and then the fuel filter and then I degreased the engine and everything because it was leaking oil too well we thought it was just leaking from the fuel pump being bad the other day when I was working on this it had oil all over around the side of here when I got done bowing and it just shut right off. I don't didn't know why, but it just shut right off. It wouldn't start again, so I ended up getting a new fuel pump here because there was just thought maybe it was leaking out of the fuel pump from the fuel pump being bad. And then changed the fuel filter right here. So the fuel pump, the fuel filter. Then this stator thing here which spins around and then hooks up it gets spark to this coil which gives spark down here into the head and here's the spark plug right here that's what causes your engine to more or less explode inside that causes your your fuel gets into there it causes an explosion and that's what how you get power from an engine well so I ended up changing them two things, then changed the coil here, cleaned this stator all up because it was rusty and made it so it's shiny again, then degreased the engine. Well, I got it running again, mowed the yard yesterday, and then when I got done, there was oil all over again, and this new fuel pump had oil all over and stuff. So I, I watched a little video about what causes oil to leak out you know i mean considering all that stuff was new and stuff and they mentioned something about could be a blown head gasket so there's the head right here you got these two valves one there one here and your piston goes up and your explosion you got an intake valve that allows your gas fuel to come through and then the smaller one is your exhaust valve. So the gases from your explosion go out of your exhaust, comes out of your muffler. And basically the same thing the car engine does. So anyway, there's a head gasket that goes right around here. I'll show you in a second here. But it was had a little leak right here. So it was causing engine oil to come through here and making the engine run rough at times when you're going up hills and stuff a little bit. And it would blow smoke out of the exhaust that comes down through here, this little hole. And then, uh, so I'll put a new head gasket on it and that should cure everything. But it was causing so much pressure into the crankcase that it was blowing it out of the, the back of this little screen right here in front of my 
fingernail. That's where the oil was leaking out of it and running down all over. So this should take care of the problem. Shouldn't take too much longer to finish. So this is this is the old head gasket. And it's kind of aluminum and it's got like a lead type or some kind of coating on both sides of it. Well you can see right here where it's in front of my fingernail how it's all black looking. That's where the exhaust and oil was burning through where it started leaking at. So then here's a brand new head gasket right here. And I'll just be putting that back on right here. See it goes on like this. Just sits on there like that and the head bolts up to that some bolts but not too bad of a job to do i mean i had to take the hood off which was kind of easy to do too to get to that so make it easier but. so i got the head back on now and the push rods are all on this is just loose because when you rotate the engine it'll when it comes back around to the exhaust, it'll, this side will tighten up. But how I did it was, I just pulled the whole head right off, and then the push rods I pulled out afterwards. The aluminum push rod goes on the exhaust. That way if you ever have a something that gets, exhaust valve gets stuck or something, then it'll bend the push rod instead of damaging the whole engine. Uh, But when I put it back together, all I did was push in on the springs, but you could either use a screwdriver or I used a socket and an extension. And they're not real tough springs, they're pretty easy, so I just pushed in and then put them back on. And there's a couple little holes that your push rods have to go into. I looked in there with a flashlight and got them in the holes. And then these bolts here I just got hand tight right now and I gotta torque them and I'll let you know the torque specs here in a, in a minute but uh torque them in two sequences with a foot pound torque wrench or excuse me uh, inch pound torque wrench but there's one two three four five six seven eight head bolts and they're all half inch sockets. Uh, the valve cover here is 7 16 socket. I mean, other than the way I did it, yeah, you could go ahead and loosen all this stuff up and then use the feeler gauge and look up the specs and, and all that. But the way I did it, you don't need to do that. Uh, I just didn't turn anything, you know, once I got it apart. But I'll get back with you when I get more done on it. That's good and smooth now. So I ended up uh, adjusting the valves. I set the intake valve at four thousandths and the exhaust valve at five thousandths. But on the valve, there's a takes a five inch wrench to loosen up the nut, but you have to use a T20 Torx end sock or either a socket or a screwdriver or 
to uh, hold. There's a a locking screw in the middle of the nut. You have to break that loose in order to turn the screw. Set your valve and then lock that back down. But it wasn't too bad of a job to do. Pretty easy. Pretty much anybody could do it if you got the tools. And Thanks for watching.